Criticism about CTA safety is mounting in light of this tragedy, and the man at the center of it is longtime CTA president Dorval Carter. Lauren Victory is live in the newsroom with that part of the story. Lauren, you're looking into complaints this afternoon. Yes, Jim and Marie calls for Dorval Carter's resignation made headlines in May. Several members of city council had concerns then that Carter had not been doing enough to improve CTA conditions, ridership and safety. Their disdain for him is renewed in light of the murders on the blue line. Dorval Carter first became CTA president in 2015. He currently makes more than $375,000 a year to oversee 10,000 employees and a transit system that serves millions of riders annually. Safety while riding the rails and buses is a consistent issue for the CTA, from shootings to robberies to assaults. CBS News Chicago reported earlier this year that the CTA under Carter's leadership spent $71 million on 300 security officers in 2022. That same year, CTA crime shot up 23 percent. When asked about the challenges, Carter told city council in February that he was doing the best he could. Multiple aldermen like Andre Vasquez continue to call for Carter to step down or be fired by the mayor. Monday's blue line shooting that killed four is another stain on Carter's record, Vasquez says. More than 30 hours after the tragedy, Carter has not yet stepped in front of cameras to talk about it. I do understand that first you want to get all the details, but I think in a time when you've got a public service like this and people have concerns about the safety and reliability of CTA, it's incumbent to be out there fast with a response. We should note it was Labor Day and several city employees had the day off. We are told Carter is expected at that news conference scheduled for 7 o'clock tonight in Forest Park. Meantime, CTA advocates from a group called Commuters Take Action are also speaking out about Carter and CTA failures. They tell us today that safety can be improved by increasing service. Their reasoning, more riders, would mean more eyes on the system. Live in the newsroom, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS News, Chicago. Lauren, thank you.